in celebration of World Mental Health Day, we are opening our labyrinth. This is a healing natural plant labyrinth uh, with the idea is that for us here on Providence Farm, it becomes another tool in our pantheon of mental health tools that we have in this wonderful healing spot. And so we think that this will be of great benefit to community and, uh, and to our participants. Welcome to uh, the opening of our labyrinth. First note, just that we are on the uh, traditional territory of the Cowichan people. Want to recognize that and uh, beautiful territory it is and part of that is this wonderful little valley we have in here which has all this wonderful healing energy in this place and when people come here you know you all feel it you can feel the energy here and i think that this labyrinth is going to bring that even more together this is sort of our newest mental health tool that we have here it's our labyrinth and uh, so it's going to be pretty exciting to see how uh, it works for the community and works for our participants. It's pretty remarkable. It's been, a, it's been a long journey, so it's really exceptional to have arrived today. About a year ago, maybe two years ago, we talked to Sister Frida, Sisters of St. Anne, and asked them if a labyrinth would be appropriate here. And she just said, absolutely, but make sure it's in a quiet space. So I, I think what this does is it takes, it takes the contemplative act the contemplative practices and it gives people an opportunity to be in nature without necessarily having to go through the forest but have the essence of what Providence Farm gives you when you show up on the land. A labyrinth unlike a maze which is intended to activate your left hemisphere of your brain so it's activating the spot that is logical and wants to figure out puzzles but a labyrinth is one path in and one path out, and it's intended to access the right hemisphere of your brain, so the piece of you that is creative and has insight and wisdom. So by going back and forth, it takes that logical part of your brain and it gives it something to do. And so by the time you arrive at the center, likely you have accessed that other piece of yourself that gives you wisdom, things like the most important thing to do is just show up and smile to people. Yeah, so just getting out and playing music on a nice day and checking out the labyrinth thing and. Yeah, it's really beautiful here. I love labyrinths and this one's beautiful. I'm hoping that the, the joy and the, the healing that's here today just grows and grows and grows exponentially until we're all at peace. It was really uh, something we've been looking forward to and um, yeah, I've been dying to try it out myself. Providence Farm started um, almost 40 years ago um, as a uh, center for mental health and uh, we've, we've expanded into working with people with mental health challenges as well as people with developmental disabilities. So, you know, autism or, or Down syndrome. And also we have a seniors program, which is for seniors with dementia. So we, you know, we help people who are struggling with, you know, the mental health uh, issues in that, in that realm. And uh, they can come out here uh, and spend time uh, working in the gardens, in our woodworking shops, in our art programs, our textile programs with animals. Uh, we have a variety of things that people can do out here to help rebalance themselves in their lives. And now we have a labyrinth so that people can come out and walk that as well. Okay.